Welcome to Destiny Palmistry YouTube channel. My name is Sari Puhaka. I am talking about the island mark on the headline today. I hope you have subscribed and checked out all my other videos. If not, I have um, hundreds of lessons for you to learn as well as from my website, destinypalmistry.com. Today, I am doing the island mark from an example reading. But before I do that, I'm going to show you a little bit about the island. In case you are new to palmistry, you might not be aware what an island is or what it means. So the island on any line is when the line splits. So just like that, splits into two, but it joins back up. If it doesn't join, it's a fork. And sometimes you have to be careful with the islands because there could be, for example, on the lifeline, it could just be a, another line crossing one direction and another line crossing in another direction, making it appear to have an island, but it's actually just a mixture of crossing lines. So you have to be careful when checking out the island. The one I'm about to show you is a quite unique sort of an island. So what that means, basically on any line that you find the island is a division of the energy. So if you imagine the lines as rivers and it, it is flowing so-called smoothly and then suddenly there is a fork in the river the energy of that river is reduced. It's no longer rushing as hard and fast. So that energy is reduced until it joins again and then comes back to normal. So the same thing applies for an island on a line. It shows that the energy is reduced. If it's on the lifeline, it can depict any part of the life. If it's on the heart line, it can depict the emotional state. On the headline, it depicts a weakening of the mental state. So in general, it can depict a period of worry, a period of fatigue for whatever reason. You can often um, ask the person or if you can't ask the person you can look to the other lines other areas of the hand to see where this worry or fatigue might be coming from most of the time if it's on the lifeline the island depicts uncertainty on the headline it can depict depression depending on other factors such as if the headline goes all the way to the mount of moon this area here if the headline droops down there it can be a sign of depression in other cases it can be a sign of a loss of memory a person might have something happened and and for a period they just can't focus they have very unclear focus or um, not a good memory at that period in time the good thing about the island line is that because it eventually joins together, that means uh, things also in life return to normal. So let us have a look at these islands on the actual example reading that I'm doing. This person that has asked for the reading originally asked for a reading about the marriage lines, which I will do as well. But the most important thing to me in this example reading was the person's islands. So I will talk about them first and then I will show you the marriage lines as well. Right. Here is the heart line. And as you can see, there are many drooping lines. That is a sign of someone who is having um, a periods of a negative 
attitude or negative feelings, feelings because it's on the heart line. And the evidence of that is also on the headline because I'm not sure how clearly you can see this, so I'm going to draw it. There is a very, very long island on the headline goes for all of that length slightly over here. That is a hard to depict on most palms and people do not recognize it, but that is a long island. There are some achievement lines and other influence lines that are sort of disturbing the early part of that line, which <clears throat> makes it a little bit hard to define as an island, but it is. So what was really important to me in this whole picture was the fact that the headline is very long. It runs practically, I, it actually goes to the other end of the palm. So like a Sydney line that's called when it goes all the way to the end, but it does taper off. It's a very, very long headline. And that depicts somebody who overthinks everything. You can understand with the some negative feelings combined with overthinking things can cause a kind of uh, depression or anx anxiety or anxious feelings. So the important part of reading this island is the fact that it stops halfway and the rest of the headline is perfectly clear. In my opinion, halfway of any line is around the age of 40, around approximately. So that tells me that in and around the age of 40, this person will stop having all of those anxious or negative thoughts. His mental clarity is clarifying. It's clarifying, is that a word? The clarity which was unclear will be clear, uh, clearer. And also, confirmed by the success lines. There are some influence lines which are rising towards the success line and the success line is rising towards the ring finger and there are a couple of them forming like a trident and that shows somebody who will shouldn't have problems with getting money they're quite lucky that whenever they might be struggling that they're always lucky that they will their finances will be okay and before i go on to the right hand i'll show you the islands on the right hand i just wanted to point out that because there is this success line present that is often the sign of somebody who can be creative in their thinking, but it's also shown a sign of happiness. This uh, curve on the on the side of the palm, instead of the palm being straight down from the pinky, like straight down there, is a very curved edge, and that is called a creative curve. So most people who have this have a good imagination. And so they can be quite creative if they want to be, as long as they use the creativity in a positive way. It, the imagination, I mean, as long as they use their imagination in a positive way. If you are using your imagination to imagine negative things, then uh, it's not doing you any good. But if you can put those thoughts into something productive and creative, that is an excellent sign to have. Okay, I will go on to the right hand because <clears throat> this person is right-handed. 
and it's a much clearer picture. And once again, there is a, a poor start to the headline. This whole headline is connected to the heart. This is a simian line variation. So it actually goes all the way across. So that plus it does have the formation of the headline. So it is still classed as a simian line, which adds to the intensity of this character. This character would have a lot of their emotions and logical thoughts combined together. So they might not often understand their own emotion. They'll have to um, consider that they will always think and feel at the same time kind of thing. But once again, like I was saying, the headline or here is Simeon line and heart line starts off quite poorly. It starts off with three separate, almost like four separate, this is like an ambition line there, but it starts off quite frayed. The main part is the lower line here. But once again, there's a series of island lines here. Siri thought I said Siri. Didn't want anything, Siri. My phone. <laughs> so there's a series of islands. Sorry about that series of islands at the start of the headline. However, where at the exact point where the heart line joins and where it turns into the actual simian line, that points also to around the age of 40 because it's a little bit higher. So around the age of 40, the headline is quite perfectly normal and it's clear all the islands have stopped. So these are all very positive indications of the clarity that was affected that is uh, clearing up. Another thing I'll point out that will go along with having all these islands on the headline, you often see many stress lines because the worry is, um, is what's causing the island. So they, these are worry lines that are rising right past. Yeah, so as you've probably heard in my other videos that this, these kind of stress lines, once they cross the main lines, it shows that it, the stress has reached like a crisis point. But once again, as shown on the lifeline, as the previous lifeline, it starts out a little bit fuzzy under here, but then it clears up. And there is a fork in the lifeline, which also always depicts some kind of a decision. Sometimes it can denote travel, change in career, many, it can denote many things, but in most cases it is denoting a change and that's what I wanted to also point out the fate line there's also an island so that can depict um, money worries but not always it can depict career problems as well but considering that the the start of the simian line is so chained this is just going along showing that it wasn't such a smooth road, not such a smooth road earlier. But considering this person is 40, so that is showing that that island is also now closing up and all is looking well. Now, going on to the marriage lines, because this person wanted to know about the marriage lines. On the left hand, there's clearly two lines and it is confirmed on the right hand. So always look at both hands. So here you can see 
the first line is not very strong and it actually looks like there's a little drooping line. So if there was a relationship earlier on, it looks like that was not successful in marriage. However, there is a second line much higher and I have um, got a similar line myself and that does depict a marriage or union, a long-term relationship or union or marriage after the age of 40. So that's good news for this gentleman if he is um, keen to try to find a, um, a wife for the future because he is uh, single and 40 at the moment. So there you go. I hope you have enjoyed that and learned something from that video today and I look forward to doing more videos soon. Thanks very much. <music>